here. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna do a regen uh, session for neck and shoulders. So you had a tough neck shoulder day, you just woke up stiff, you did this amazing flow series before really targeting this part of your body. Now we're gonna open it and get some blood flow there. So kind of need a strap. If you don't have a strap, go grab a couple neckties, a bigger towel, a jump rope, you could use some of your workout bands, but I like something to be more rigid, not flexible, okay? So let's come to seated, easy cross leg. If it's not so easy for you here, because we're gonna be here a little bit, sit up on pillow or blocks so that you can sit up nice and tall, and let's roll the shoulders up, back down. So exaggerate this and start adding your spine. Shoulders are forward, you round the back, Come up, arch the back, bring the shoulders back and start feeling how you're separating the shoulder blades. Bring them up and squeezing them. A couple more. And then coming to center. Now we're going to inhale, squeeze, exhale, drop. One of the quickest ways to bring heat to your body is doing this. So if you're feeling really cold, you just can't get warmed up to break that chill, try 30 seconds of these. Really exaggerate, deep breath. And come to a neutral position. So first thing we're gonna do is bring the chin to the right shoulder, a little bit of a push back through center and left. So getting into the rotation of the neck also know that you can play around with the placement of your arms while you're doing this. Sometimes I feel better when they're just hanging out in front. I can just really relax them. Sometimes when they're out and a little back, that feels better for me. So always explore. And then come to center. Still sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna bring chin to chest. And carefully lift, so drop the head back and continue like that. Now, some people are super sensitive to bringing their head back. It hurts their neck. Something you can do to help that is keep the shoulders shrugged up when your head is back. And the muscles will give you a little bit more support. But drop them down again when your chin is forward. So we're stretching the flexion extension and back to center. And last, ear to shoulder, with a little depression in the opposite shoulder. Again, play around with the position. Through center, ear to shoulder. Okay, don't bring the body with you. It's just neck work. Great, great little series to do at your desk too. If you're starting to feel tension, you're starting to feel that tech neck creeping up on you. And back to center, so super careful, chin to chest, and big neck circles. I want you to take your time and feel every single angle. If there's one particular angle you feel extra tight, linger there a little. And then switch direction. Here, my neck. And back to center. Okay, so we're gonna take the right arm behind the back. Your left hand is gonna grab the wrist forearm behind your back. You're gonna pull your left arm out so you have this little wing over here sitting up tall against your forearm. Drop the ear towards your wing. So ear to shoulder, opposite arm, our shoulder is dropping down. And very carefully bring your nose towards the ground, chin towards the collarbone, get a little different angle. And carefully bring it back to neutral. 
let go of the forearm behind your back, extend that arm back out, and let's deepen the stretch with the weight of the arm. Inhale tall, exhale gentle pull. And carefully let it go. Roll it out, a couple of shrugs, and let's try the other side. Left arm behind your back, grab the forearm, bring it behind. You can almost see your hand back there. Okay, drop that shoulder blade down and sitting up tall. Now you're gonna bring right ear, right shoulder. Sitting up tall. Every inhale, proud chest. Every exhale, just that gentle little negotiation, ear to shoulder. Careful, nose towards the ground, chin towards the collarbone, a little different angle. Bring it back to neutral, ear to shoulder. Release the forearm, bring the arm up and deepen the stretch. Trying to displace the weight of your arm against your head and get nice and open in that side neck. More blood and oxygen to the brain. And very carefully, let it go. Roll it out, shrug, and feel free to hold those a little longer once you learn and memorize them. If you, if you seated cat cows, and then go ahead and get your strap. So you're going to take tension on the strap. Start with about three feet-ish. Arms are straight. No bending the elbows here. If you have to bend the elbows, it need, means you need more length in the strap, okay? So find a decent width and inhale the arms up. There's my dog. And back <laughs> and up and forward. So you want to feel that stretch in the chest when you come up and back, maybe even up through the front shoulder to the bicep. If you look like this, that means you have to separate your hands a little bit more. If it's super easy, especially as you start getting warmer, then you can bring your hands a little closer. It doesn't matter as long as you're sitting up tall and you feel that stretch, right? So you come up and forward, up, and back, squeeze those shoulder blades, arms are long, <sighs> keep going. Be careful, shoulders pretty delicate. A couple more. Good, and let that strap go. So we're going to do a face down shoulder stretch. Everybody's gonna lie down onto your stomach. I'm going to do the left arm first. Once you lie down on your stomach, your left arm is out, palm flat to the floor, and your arm is a little higher than your shoulder. This is shoulder, this is a little higher. Here is posing for a magazine cover. This is not good, okay? Here, and then just a little higher. So on your belly, go ahead and look at your left arm, make sure it's a little higher than shoulder, palm flat, fingers spread, and then you're gonna go on your left ear. Bend your right elbow like a push-up. Bend your right knee. Roll it over. Okay, we're trying to get that right foot flat on the floor, but initially it might be like it's in a high heel shoe. You might be super tight and only able to get here. If that's the case, you could bring the foot in front of the other thigh to try to get a little bit more leverage and use the hand as well, pushing yourself more and more open until that foot can come behind you, okay? The other option, right hand on your thigh and it help you help push the leg open. So relax your head, chin to your chest, and just feel that left bicep, anterior deltoid chest, super deep spinal twist, sinking, sinking, until someday that right butt cheek touches the floor too. 
I usually do this for three to four minutes each side. We're doing it a little less today, time saving, shoulder neck regen. Head's heavy. Two more breaths, gentle push. And very slow, bring it out back onto your belly in that starting position. Slide that left arm down and relax it. Might need to adjust the knees and just rock back and forth. Let's go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna switch it around so I don't turn my back on you. Right arm is out, a little higher than the shoulder. Rest on your right ear. Bend your left elbow like a push-up, bend your left knee. Push and roll. Don't expect it to be the same. If you're a righty, you might meet resistance a lot sooner on this side. So get there, remember all the options here, here, whatever you need to do. Use this hand somewhere where you can get a little push. One of the things you really wanna do here is relax the head. So sometimes you're so tight, there's a tension in the neck and you're not fully relaxing the head and it's gonna hold back the depth of stretch in that right shoulder. So head's heavy, focus on that on the exhale. Two more deep breaths. Remember you're welcome to stay here longer. This is very difficult for you, very resistant. Please find the time to do this as a standalone for longer, two, three, four minutes each side. And then very carefully, slowly, let it go onto your belly. Palms flat, press up carefully and walk your hands out in front. Come down to the elbows palms together in a prayer, press the chest back, forehead to the floor, puppy pose. Thumbs are coming to the base of your neck and you're trying to drape and melt the heart down. The deeper the breath, the better the stretch in the shoulder. And then way forward into your elbows, hands coming forward, bring the hands back into table pose, cat cow to neutralize the spine. And bring it back to easy cross leg, tall back, a super efficient, simple, quick, so no excuses, regen for your neck and shoulders, tech neck, tough workouts, hard flow series. So do it as much or as little as you need. Feel free to hold those poses longer. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.